morning friends welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Cheney I'm a first year high school teacher in the state of Oklahoma teaching Latinx studies this is September 27th yes and I am beginning a new week in my life I had a sub on Friday so I need to get my room back in order my kids didn't do nothing my stack of work and my sub plans are untouched. Just get this day rolling. Today we are getting an introduction to Mexican muralism. And so we looked at some murals, looked at like artistic aspects and characteristics of muralism. And then they are creating in groups their own mini mural. So each class has four groups. They get um, one piece of big post-it note paper divided into four. And so each group gets a little section on the one paper. And so at the end of the week when they're done, I get to put them all together into one big mural. They haven't really started yet, just yet. They have and they haven't. So let me show you what they do have. This is what my seventh hour is working on. One group is working on. So they're taking this image and then adding corn around it instead of flowers. Another group from my third hour is working on this. Honestly, anytime I can get them to do collaborative artistic work together, it's a win for everybody. They enjoy doing it. I enjoy teaching in that way. And at the end, they have like this beautiful product that is their own. Good morning. I get out of the way. Today is Tuesday. I'm getting my computer set up for today and reviewing my lesson plan. What I observed yesterday during my second hour, my second hour is pretty rowdy dowdy. And so I was really nervous about the feedback, but honestly, it was good. <laughs> it was like the teacher does a great job at bringing the students in, holding their attention, walking around, sharing their work, checking in with them, like that kind of stuff. I thought that the feedback was gonna be like, students were too noisy, they were talking too much, they were too rowdy. But I don't know, maybe that's just me being like overcritical. Do, 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 this week we're doing Mexican muralism and they are creating um, a piece of artwork that is inspired by Mexican muralism and it needs to be focused on something like identity, culture, traditions, um, celebrations, social issues that they think are important. They got an introduction to muralism in general and then today we are looking at Diego Rivera's life in art. Yesterday I called a few parents. I'm running into this thing where like parents don't answer the phone and it's kind of a guessing game on whether or not they're gonna respond to you but I had one family member from a student contact me which was nice because I had called them on Thursday and I didn't get a hold of them and then I wasn't here on Friday. They were very kind. It's nice when parents are kind and understanding and like open up to you a little bit about what's happening at home if there is anything happening at home i have a few students who are just going through it right now and then i wasn't here on friday i made my sub plans and everything they're actually still right here on this podium um and whoever subbed for me on friday did nothing nothing they did nothing all of my 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 sub plans are still here and my stack of the activity that my students were supposed to do on Friday is untouched. They did nothing all day. It was a free day for all of them. I, I'm sorry, I, I don't do free days. I just don't. They're gonna do something. <laughs> and I had something planned for them. I planned it, I spent time on it, I printed it out. I, I was like very salty about that check back in with you a little later today is tacky tourist tur tourist tourist today is tacky tourist day at school i'm not dressed like a tacky tourist because i 
don't have any tacky tourist clothing. I just couldn't pull anything together, so I didn't do it. Tomorrow is something, I can't remember, but hopefully I, it's like a spirit week, you know, a little spirit week. Hopefully tomorrow I can do a little something something. And how you showed me things I'd never seen. to show you how much you mean good afternoon it is currently it has to be like 145 146 my fifth hour just left and so six hours planning period a lot has been going on today i feel like i always film in this place but it's just really convenient because i can put my there's a lot of fluorescent lights and i don't have any windows there's like no windows in this place I can put my ring light, which I already had here anyway, put my ring light right here. And then I have this like cabinet right here. I can just like oops, set you right there. I'm having a good day so far. I've been feeling pretty productive in everything that we've been doing. I did a donor's choose for the Latinx library and it got fully funded and I got all of my books delivered today. I got 30 copies of I'm Not Your Perfect Mexican Daughter. I got this for class copy so that we can read it in class. I don't think that we will have time to do it this semester since it's my first semester. I'm still trying to figure out like what our students at this school are interested in, what their levels are. So it's something that I want to test next semester. I've been doing a lot of testing on my students this semester and I just feel like you know, they've been taking a lot of trial and error and I need to wait until next semester to try it out. But some of my students have already seen this. Some of them have already read this and they're like, are we reading this this semester? And I'm like, probably not. I mean, maybe I'll have to look at my lesson plans and like see where I want to fit that in. I also got this book called Juliet Respira Profundo and I got We Are Not From Here. And then I also got The Wondrous Life of Oscar Wow. So that is kind of a little taste of what I got from Donors Choose. I got all of these plus 30 copies of this for a class uh, set. So now I'm actually going to go back into my office. I'm going to try to lesson plan a little bit. Good morning, friends. It's Wednesday already. It's Wednesday. I feel like Monday and Tuesday are always kind of slow. And then Wednesday is just like, there's like a light at the end of the tunnel, you know? Not that school is a tunnel but you know what I mean? Today, we are focusing on Frida Kahlo, the queen of selfies. That's kind of how I'm connecting today's lesson to their real lives. So they're gonna be talking about selfies. What is a selfie? What makes a good selfie? It is 1.56, sixth hour, you know the drill. I always be coming on here at sixth hour. Today has been a really, really good day. I had students talk to each other and like be social with each other really for the first time all year because I asked a simple question of what do y'all think about filter? They've been having a blast with it and they've been spending the whole time like working on that together. And we talk about Frida Kahlo. They look at her self portraits and look at like recurring themes and ideas and pain comes up a lot because of her accident and her having polio and she depicts pain a lot in her artwork and so their journal prompt today was do you think people are honest about their lives on social media why or why not and we talk about how much easier it is for us to just say that everything's okay and we use that to like connect everything and talk about how on social media it's just so much easier for us to pretend that everything is okay. Everything is not happy all the time, plus with social media pressure, there's the pressure on them to make it look like their life is good all the time. And real life is just not like that. You're gonna have bad days and so like being honest about that. And then I asked my third hour, which is usually really quiet, um, I was like, so how do you feel about filters? And they had a pretty good civil dialogue 
about, I say dialogue, it was civil, but it, there was like passion behind it about the use of filters. But I've really been loving looking at their sketches of selfies. They've done some really good work. So I'm gonna go show you right now. Got a Spider-Man selfie, which is really good. They impress me with their talent, to be honest. We have this selfie this group go all out i'm so confused about what's going on like i see the filter the picture but like what is all of this this group did a selfie representation through emojis and then probably my favorite so far the real bbl drake i just cannot i'm gonna use the rest of my planning period to plan that's what it's for i will check in with you after school it's currently 3.51, so I got nine minutes before four o'clock. After school traffic should be done away with. By now, it should not exist. I feel like I look like I've had a harder day than I've actually had. Good afternoon. It is Thursday. Today is Decades Day at school, so it's come dressed as a decade. Lots of kids today are in early 2000s gear. Tried to do like a 90s grunge look, but honestly, I don't have a lot of clothes that like, I'm just realizing this week that I don't have a lot of Spirit Week clothes. I tried to pull together something. I have like this ACDC, ACDC? ACDC shirt, which really is not 90s grunge, but it's the only thing that I had. I got my mom jeans on as well. I'm really not 90s grunge, but I tried my best. I got my ripped mom jeans on, so they're like kind of baggy. I got some, uh, some black boots on. I'll have to show you. Like, I look decent, but it's just not giving me what I wanted it to give. Today's honestly been a chill day. They come in, they do their journal, we review, and then they get started on their collaboration. Meech got out of work today early because it is a rainy day today, super rainy, so he got out early. He came and visited me at school. He took me out for lunch. I didn't check in this morning because I have a student who just started coming in here yesterday before school, 30 minutes before school, and just lounging on the yellow papasan chair, which is all fine and good. But now I don't have a safe space to just film and say stuff. And I, you know, I don't know. Anyway, I might just have to buck up and say, no, you cannot come in right now. All right, so this is my outfit today. Like I said, like I was going for 90s grunge, but I just don't have the stuff for it. And like these glasses are definitely not 90s grunge. These are more 60s. You know, I'm a multi-decade today and I put this cardigan over it because this doesn't have sleeves and also i just feel more comfortable with a cardigan on i got these boots these studded black boots it's 4 14 right now and i'm going through an excel spread that i have that is parent contact and student contact so because I have a team and we'll be together for the next four years, like I wanna try to be as organized as possible. I've been contacting a few parents this week just to talk about kids' grades. But then I checked in with some of my other students today during teams just to go through their grades with them. So anyway, I'm making my spreadsheet right now and putting in notes. I have the date, the name of the student, the reason why I'm talking to them, and then notes, and then I have like a follow-up yes or no in data follow-up and then I have one for my parent contacts as well keeps me organized and it's a good way for me to remember who I talked to when for what reason things that will help me remember what's going on with my students because if I don't I have a really bad memory so I don't know at least I know myself well enough that I know I need to do something like this the other thing is that I got invited to a quince, my first student quince. I don't have any quince clothes, but I'm just really excited because this is a student who is 
very shy. She's on my team and she's also in my fifth hour. She doesn't talk to anyone. She's very quiet. She kind of stays to herself. Her friend circle is pretty small. I try to talk to her. I check in with her. Like I see how she's doing and she's very like, she's just very quiet. Her responses are always very short. Not short in a rude way, just like she doesn't say much. She invited me to her quince. I was so excited you guys like you have no idea when she told me I was so excited I was like girl where's my invite and she said let me airdrop it to you and I said okay the last thing I'm gonna do today is check my email which I'm doing right now nothing new I have finished up my student contact and then I need to put in some notes here about who I need to talk to tomorrow because tomorrow is Friday. I won't see them again until Tuesday. I also make sure that I talk to students to celebrate them. As much as I've talked about students who are not doing so well in their classes right now and talking to them about it and going through their grades together and talking about what they think is holding them back, why they're not turning in their stuff, I also give just as much attention, or at least I try to give as much attention to students who are doing really well and celebrate with them. I talk to them about what they're doing, what sports they're in. I have a few basketball players on my team. I have a few wrestlers on my team. So I have a few students in band, but I always want them to know that I'm so proud of them, even the ones who aren't doing well, that I am so incredibly proud of them, that I love them, that I care about them, that I'm here for them, and tell them to keep going, and that I know it's challenging, and I know they have a lot on their plate right now, but that they're doing great. I'm gonna finish up here, I'm gonna head out. And how you changed my life so beautifully. And how you showed me things I'd never see. baby girl I want to show you how much you mean to me with this melody with you our heart is free with you I sing with ease with you I count to three and I believe Y'all may still not know I'm talking about Italy And how she changed my life so beautifully And Italia, now I sing this song to thee And I do so with thee morning it's friday we have made it to the friday i still have my lights off it's like 7 45 i left my lights off because y'all know i have a student who likes to come in here and i feel bad when i say no don't come in so i'm just leaving my lights off for a minute so that i can check in it's the end of the week i have quince to go to on sunday it's gonna be a busy weekend so i'm really excited to get this day started to get going to get through it i'm gonna go ahead and get my board set up really quickly my music on i'll check in with you probably uh at six hour again it is 12 23 we got about i don't know 20 ish minutes until lunch is over. Food trucks today, I got chicken and waffles. Currently, luckily there are no students in my classroom. I just needed the quiet time, locked my door, and I said, don't let anybody in. Hi friends, this is Future Cheney coming in with a little voiceover moment because I forgot to close out the vlog from the week that you're watching. And it's now October 13th. Uh, today's Wednesday, the Wednesday of fall break. Let me just say that. So the last week before fall break, time just totally got away from me. I was super busy. I didn't even have a chance to like sit down and start editing, which I like to do little by little every day. And I'm just really sorry that, that I didn't pull through on that. <laughs> so... 
I really want to thank you for watching this video and spending 20 minutes of your life watching this content. I'm a full-time first-year teacher. I'm a mom. I'm a PhD student. You can find me over on Instagram if you'd like to stay up to date with me over there. And then I would love it if you are into this kind of content, if you considered subscribing, just hit the little subscribe button, leave me a little comment, you know, a little comment situation. And um, just thank you so much again for being here. And I will see you in the next one. So I can show